We've isolated the compound that makes the counteragent work. The reason why it only lasts for 24 hours is that Craig has been injecting with a very low dose. We think if we inject you with the compound at a higher dose, it should, theoretically, eliminate the poison from your body. Permanently. Okay, so that's the good news, and if your theory is wrong... Bombarding your body with such a high dose could kill you. Resuscitation would be useless, and you might not make it. Look, I'm sorry, Nicholas, but it's my prognosis. I mean, unfortunately, we don't have any more time or any more research. Robin, none, none of this matters. I'll take my chances. I just want this to be over. Okay, but you have to understand you are risking your life. Don't you want I to know. think about this first? Talk to Emily? She is invested. She probably deserves some input. She, Where is she anyway? She's with her family. She doesn't even know I checked in. Well, maybe now would be a really good time to call her. No, Robin, I'd rather not have her watch me die if it comes to that. And I can no longer stand by and watch this bastard Craig manipulator. This ends today. So give me the shot. insist on fretting, you should at least prioritize your worries. What? Well, Nicholas won't be needing a dose of his medicine for a couple of hours. Your more immediate concern will be admitting that you accompanied me on this little trip or figure out a way to cover it up. Nicholas isn't the only person I'm worried about. Elizabeth just had her baby. She's still in critical condition. Mm. You remember Elizabeth, right? Mm -hmm. The pregnant nurse that you took such joy in tormenting at the Metro Court. Yes, I do. Baby's breath, Elizabeth. Yes, I remember her well. Did she pop out a boy or a girl? Ah, oh, Elizabeth, she was... She was a veritable Madonna that night. <laughs> Full of loving concern, that bundle that she was carrying. I was really surprised that you decided to keep Elizabeth in the lobby and booted your dying father out instead. Are you instead. really that empty inside? Are you that devoid of empathy or compassion? You killed my father just as surely as if you put a bullet in his head. And now you're trying to kill the man I love. Does a human being exist that actually matters to you? Peace offering. I know you've been on calls all day, but I thought maybe you could take a break and have a few bites with me. We're on speaking terms. I'm a little surprised. Well, there's no reason to live in an armed camp. I didn't sleep last night, in case you wondered. I know you'd never let any harm come to Lila, but it's just that... I've never been apart from her before. I realize that. I tossed and turned all night last night trying to decide how I felt about you. Whether I hated you or empathized with you on some level. What'd you come up with? A lot of regret. Not just because you took my daughter away from me. But I took a really long look at my own actions. I saw how we broke that trust that we worked so hard to build. And I realized something last night. No matter what I said yesterday, I think... I'd like to think that we could still be a team. I had a rough night, too. Did some soul-searching of my own. There will always be this pool between us. Hear me? Whether I run away, whether we keep things from each other, it will always come back to this. I want to be with you. I need to be with you. You know what? Not that I wouldn't love to sleep with you, Sky, but we need to be clear. 
does not mean I will bring Lila Ray home. I'm not gonna lie to you. I did harbor some hope that if you felt close to me, you might bring your daughter home. It's not the only reason I wanted to sleep with you, but it certainly was a big part of it. Renzo, this isn't natural. A daughter should not be separated from her mother. More than anything, I want our daughter back in your arms. Then why don't you? Am I supposed to conveniently forget that you've been conspiring against me with Rick Lansing? I was scared. I didn't know who I could trust. Or maybe this is all an act, and you truly despise me. Maybe you're just biding time, waiting for an opportunity to take our daughter away from me. <sighs> or worse. I made a mistake. I should think you, of all people, can understand that. I understand this. There are a lot of reasons why you should resent me. The loss of your other family, for one. Family that I have with you and Lila means far more to me than anything I ever had with the Quartermains. If I resented you or despised you, would I have walked away from everything that mattered the most to me? Would I have stood by you through all the setbacks that we had? Would I still be standing here after you've taken my daughter off to God knows where? Lorenzo. I had a moment of weakness. You deceived me and the bottom fell out. But that doesn't change what's in my heart. I'll always be connected to yours. I'm afraid it always will be. I am in it for the duration. Can't you see that? No matter what you do, no matter what I do, you are it for me. The ball's in your court. I'm sure you will do best. What you think is best for us and our daughter. And I have faith that you will bring her home. I got here as fast as I could. What happened? We were finally able to isolate the counter agent. We've determined the only way to save Nicholas is to give him a higher dose than he's been getting. His pulse is racing. He could have a stroke. Why aren't you doing anything? It, it's already been done. The only thing we can do is wait, Emily. He's either gonna get better or, or he won't. What, am I supposed to just accept that? I know this is difficult, but this is what Nicholas said he wanted. We've gone over every contingency with him more than once in detail. He insisted on getting the Yeah, injection. well, you should have waited. Patrick, how could you do something so drastic without giving me a chance to discuss it with him? When Craig brought you into this mess, it put Nicholas over the edge. He's willing to risk anything to free you of this. He loves you. He was just trying to protect you. I need some more time with him. To buy gourmet coffee, of course. Well, then you can go and get some. Ask Vinny, he'll get you some coffee. Obviously, that was an excuse. What can I do for you? I'm aware that you plan to kill Lorenzo. Probably as soon as you can manage. I'm asking you not to. I'm disappointed in you. Excuse me? Well, you always, you always struck me as a kind of strong, confident, Savvy lady, you know, in your face. I never pegged you as a type who would beg for the life of a scum like I was after the way he used you. And here you are, wanting to protect him. Let me assure you, I want Lorenzo dead. Just not until I find my daughter. You know how they say eavesdroppers never hear anything good? Well, sure enough, Lorenzo overheard me betray him to Rick. Not a smart conversation you want to have under Alcazar's roof. And I'll tell you right now, if you're going to trust Rick... I, I... don't. 
But when I found out that Lorenzo had been faking his brain injury, putting me and my daughter at risk, I was so furious I couldn't see straight. I wanted him to pay. A fact that registered loud and clear, Lorenzo. And he took my daughter. I don't even know if she's in the country. It doesn't surprise me. But I'm sorry about that. I know how it is to be separated from a kid. Then you can understand how desperate I am to have her back. But, Sonny, that may never happen if Lorenzo dies for us. She may be given away to strangers, or, or I could lose her in any number of ways. So I am begging you, please, give me more time to convince Lorenzo that he can trust me, to persuade him to bring her home. And when that happens, I promise you, I will personally unlock that door for you to come in and do with him what you will. Long sound good. The heart rate is strong. It looks like the counter engine work. How long do we know if his recovery is permanent? Well, we have a rush on the blood work. We'll also do another tox scan, but preliminary results show that there is no poison left in your system. Thank you both so much. And I'm so grateful you're okay and you're safe. Safe from what? She could be in a lot of trouble. Oh, what a cozy little gathering. It's a celebration. Robin and I duplicated your counter agent. Don't bother running. I'm calling security. I can see by your music reaction that Emily's let you in on a little transaction. But the doctors are woefully clueless. So let me bring you up to speed. I've made our friend Emily an accomplice in treason and espionage. Emily arrested, and she goes down with me. Isn't that right, darling? Mm -hmm.